Hello everybody, we are back out exploring the city of Valencia. We are now somewhere in the old town and behind me is one of the prettiest buildings. Uh, well, a lot of buildings are actually pretty here, so you won't be uh, missing anything if you don't see this one. But this one is pretty cool. It's a museum of ceramics and you can also go inside for just 3 euros, so it's not much. And they are open like usual regular working hours but just the building itself from the outside it looks really cool and for us this is the start for today's tour through the old town we are doing a walking tour by ourselves with the help of Google Maps our next stop which is Torres Serranos and the ticket is two euros and you have to go up taking the stairs so my breath is heavy of the day which is La Lonja de la Seda it's a gothic uh, kind of building with lots of details this cute courtyard with orange trees they smell just amazingly now I think we are at the central market. It is supposed to be one of the biggest markets in Europe and we're gonna check it out. We are 
entering the fish area. We wanted just to see how much shrimps and stuff cost. And here we can see already peeled shrimp with just the tail. It's eight for how much is it? I don't get the price. The spice are already all peeled. We are on the way to somewhere else now after the market and yeah this is probably another cool area for a walk meeting up with friends lots of people out here it's middle of the day it's Wednesday people should be working but they're not <laughs> that's kind of nice to see kind of you can also go out on the balcony overlooking the square that we were just walking on and yeah kind of just a view of this square with people all around the place and people taking selfies and the next room is a room of crystal and I guess that's where it gets its name from lots of crystal We came uh, one more floor up and this is the place where all the important people are getting together to make important decisions. And it looks pretty cool with nice soft red chairs and this round shape. Looks pretty cool. And I'm guessing the guy is also an important person. And at this point at the northern station of Valencia and the Corrida place we are concluding our touristical tour and we will start our shopping tour because somewhere here is one of the shopping streets of Valencia with all the main shops like Mango, Sara, etc. And we have space actually in our luggage even though we have only hand luggage we actually didn't bring a lot of things, so if we see something that we like, we might also buy it. our hotel room for a short break until we continue our exploration of the city and yeah I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you our room because well now it's nice and tidy after we messed it up and then left uh, so this is basically the entrance door and when you enter on the right hand side is this door to the bathroom here's just a lot of space for your shoes and luggages a teeny tiny mirror, not really good for like the outlook, uh, like photo of the day or something. This is the design on the wall, so each room has different design in this hotel and uh, it's kind of representing parts of the history of the city. And then there is this extra large bed, it's probably like super king size because well, it's gigantic, it's probably like more than two meters wide 
and then, then we have a little kind of desk area with some sockets, some artwork, a TV hanging really high up, and a closet, open closet kind of thingy. So we have here our jackets and some more space for the luggage. And yeah, that's it for the room. We don't have any balcony and I already showed you that our city, uh, our room that goes out to the city side. So like it's a little bit louder. Plus the window situation is kind of weird. There are gaps in the frames, but we sleep pretty well. So that doesn't disturb us too much. And now I'll show you the bathroom. The bathroom is very green. Yeah, just super basic. Uh, yeah, a hair dryer, a couple of mirrors, a really magnifying mirror, a sink, a stool, the toilet, the shower. They're using here Rituals uh, shampoo and hand wash and hand and body lotion. That's pretty cool, smells very nice. And yeah, that's it for the hotel room tour and the name is the casual hotels it's kind of a chain and this one is Sakarats hotel and that's it uh, we'll catch up with you when we are out again on the streets hello again we have left our hotel and our first stop is um, churros and buñuelos um, well, it's basically fat and sugar, yeah, so it's good. So you take a churro and you dip it in the chocolate. <laughs> I like chocolate. Okay, now let's eat the donut and after churros we again took a walk another walk for the day and now we are again in the city of arts and sciences for the sunset and to go through that um, house on the other side of the street and here we are, we cross the street to Umdrakle, I guess that's the pronunciation. And this is a park with palm tree alley and some citrus trees and it just looks really really nice. It's free entry right next to the city of arts and sciences, well it is part of it as well. And if you're here you should definitely come. And yeah, so we're gonna enjoy our walk through this alley take a couple of pictures so you can just check them out on my Instagram and then after that we will wait till the sun goes down and we'll go enjoy the city of arts and sciences at night And this is the reason why we wanted to come here at the night time because it lights up very nicely. You can see behind me the whole city of arts and sciences is very well lit up. It's super beautiful. So I really advise you to visit this place both at daytime and nighttime because then you get to see this view. back from the square of the city hall and earlier today we were there like right there on the balcony and also here now down on the ground there is a fountain it's very nice and lit up uh, at the night time it's always very nice to go out to just observe the city lights and so far 
Valencia has been really good in that area and we are gonna go now here because we're on our way for our dinner we're planning to eat some burgers